there's not a dry eye. Um, you know, we're all really upset. An outbreak of a deadly disease hits a Wabash Valley sanctuary. Now the exotic feline rescue center is fighting to keep the cats alive. This is the highly contagious virus continues to spread. News 10's Lindsay Yates has the latest on the devastating developments out of Center Point. Well, come say hi to you. It's a bond unlike any other. Every day you come in and, and no matter what is going on in your life, you find a reason to smile. But for head keeper Rebecca Rizzo, finding that reason these days is getting harder. You know I love you. I mean, there's, there's not a dry eye. Um, you know, we're all really upset. The cats basking in the sun. To you, it may look like just another day at the Exotic Feline Rescue Center. But behind the scenes, these two tigers are battling for their lives. We've done everything we can to give these animals the best life they possibly can and to think of it all coming to an end. A virus known as canine distemper has killed five cats and sickened several more. Veterinarian Fred Froderman says it all started several weeks ago. We did find a dead raccoon, which sends up flags when we find dead raccoons just randomly. And it wasn't long after that before we started getting cats that were sick. The virus, which has no cure, can quickly progress from respiratory issues to neurological problems. It's just uh, draining because our hands are tied. There's not a thing we can do. Just try to support them and hopefully they pull through. Several have recovered, including this bunch. But there's nothing to stop the highly contagious disease from spreading. That's our our only option right now is to get everybody vaccinated and hope this whole thing passes. And in the meantime, Rizzo is just one of many workers who is cherishing the sweet moments. You come in and you see the healthy cats and, and uh, you just keep going. You just find your solace in them. No, oh, you're such a big boy. In Center Point with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter. <laughs> Lindsay Yates, News 10. We're told the two tigers in the clinic have a slim chance of survival. That's because their old age plays a factor. Now the refuge is still open. Experts say the virus is not a threat to people. We'll continue to follow this sad story and bring you more updates as they become available.